Good morning. Thank you everyone for joining. My name is Asaf Sal. I'm a senior director of product management for Sauce Labs. I'm with Sauce Labs for almost three and a half years. For the first three years, I was running business uh, side from product management for our mobile and for the last six months or so leading the platform uh, at Sauce Labs. For the next round, about 15 minutes, I'm going to guide you uh, through our roadmap where we are at the moment, short term in terms of like what's going on in these quarters this year, and then give you an outlook for the Horizon 2 and Horizon 3, which are more long-term roadmap, and basically um, emphasize the vision and where Soslips is heading. Usually this, uh, the roadmap uh, presentation is, is much longer. If anyone is interested, please contact your account manager, customer success manager, and based on that, we'll be happy to follow up and dive more into, into the details. So, when we are building our roadmap, we are defining focal points or the main initiatives that we are running throughout the year. And for 2020, our main focal points are uh, four main areas. The first one is uh, mainly about high performance platform, and that's uh, having a, a fast, reliable and performing platform uh, with very high availability since we are um, a SaaS platform, the idea is to provide you with three and even four nines, 99.9% .9 uptime. And, and the idea is provide you with longitude um, test execution and, and standard uh, within the standard deviation. So we, what basically this says, we are putting a lot of emphasis and focus on, on the reliability of the platform about scale as the platform is growing. And if you know, you must have heard how many tests and how many jobs are running on our platform daily. Um, so it's scaling up dramatically. And as the platform scales, the execution scale by our, but by our users, we are continuously improving. And, and the whole concept is about speed, reducing the time that you get feedback uh, based on, on execution. So first, the first the, that's the first focus area that we are driving within our product. Second one is expanding um, the developer value proposition. Uh, up until now, um, for the recent years, SourceLife's focus was most about test. Uh, so it was about the QA persona, the tester, uh, the SDET, different type of testing, um, be that manual testing or automated test. And we are now doing a lot of focus also uh, by providing uh, our platform and supporting that for developers. So we are expanding the, the, the value proposition for, for uh, developers so they can also use our platform throughout the ICD and very tightly integrated into the development environment. Third one is around unifying the platform. Uh, SourceLab started as a virtual cloud, uh, providing with you browsers, desktop and browsers, uh, across Mac, Windows, and Linux. And, and in the past few years, there were several acquisitions. One acquisition was Test Object, which was uh, the provider and is the provider of the real device cloud of SourceLab. And another one is called Screener.io, which is about visual testing. And what we are doing at the moment for the past few months, and it's already very much um, completed, and, and we are continuing enhancing that, that's unifying the, the platform and unifying the experience. So if you log in to salslabs.com, you have access to real devices, emulator simulators, desktop and browsers, along with visual testing, all with one user experience, access to all the tools and capabilities uh, across test automation, live testing, reporting, analytics. So there's a lot of emphasis to provide you with one single view that you've access to all your test assets. The fourth one is about analytics. And, and the idea is that providing you with risk insights, you, have execute, you are executing testing against different platforms, different browsers, different mobile devices, and you get a lot of data. And instead of you diving into the data and trying to understand what is the status, we provide you with risk insights, with um, basically um, highlighting the areas which are important. And based on that, you have a very good understanding what is the status of your platform. And you do not need to invest and are not required to invest hours and days into analysis of all the test execution and, and providing you with, with um, that serving that for you. 
And this will allow you to increase engagement and helping you to get the insights directly from the platform without much investment from your side. So these are the main four areas that we are driving and, and I will dive into each one of those and uh, for the short term. Um, so if we look at the three personas or the two personas and, and the platform itself, so we have the QA persona or the software developer in test. That's our core persona. That's the bread and butter of our platform. Then we have the platform and we have the developer persona, as I mentioned, something that we are enhancing and growing into this area as well. So when it comes to the QA asset, um, two main areas that are already in motion are unifying the navigation. Um, you, must, you might have seen already the new look and feel of, the, of uh, sourcelabs.com when you are logging into the portal, into the app. Uh, you have new navigation, new structure, live testing, automated testing, reporting, application management when it comes to mobile devices, uh, real devices, or emulators, simulators. So it is all one uh, structure and one navigation. Uh, before that, you need to navigate between different products, so it, the user experience is much more streamlined. And uh, next is real devices on SOS. Um, up until now, it was testobject.com for real devices and sauslabs.com for, um, for uh, emulators and simulators. And now we are integrating real devices from test object, all the capabilities into sauslabs. Okay, so it's all one entry and one um, navigation and capabilities across real devices and emulators, simulators. And medium and long term, we are expanding uh, our trial capabilities, we are improving the user experience, expanding into visual testing as well, and also long term um, optimizing execution and low cost uh, testing, low, low code testing. When it comes to the platform, unified billing, those who are uh, important, it's less um, on the enterprise, more on self-service. One billing account for um, your different application entries. Uh, IM and domain management, the same user management and unified entities across all those. And as we move forward, we are also looking at expanding our public cloud offering, not just running on Salesforce cloud, but also other offering, integrating into different environments coming from the customer side or public clouds like Google Cloud, Amazon, um, Microsoft Azure, et cetera. And we are also experimenting and, and uh, checking possibilities for uh, potential on-prem mobile and, and IoT. When it comes to the developer, uh, we are focusing on failure analysis, uh, which is already something that we have uh, uh, in productization available. And, and native framework integration, we are doing proof of concept with a few customers for browser testing and browser pipeline testing, which is what uh, front-end developers, for example, using JavaScript frameworks, uh, use Source Labs also uh, to test throughout their development process. And, and medium and long term, we are working on integration of uh, Cypress, for example. We are enhancing the web driver contribution with web driver IO, Selenium, Selenium 4 is coming, the next version of Appium, etc. And we are also building and extending our uh, jobs API so you can consume a lot of services coming from SourceLab using API and you can integrate into your current pipeline, your current CI CD tools. And, and infrastructure and basically everyone is using something else. And uh, so you are either consuming all those services directly on SaaS Labs, or you can just use the APIs and build it into your solutions. And in addition, we are building our risk management and looking into production monitoring. So you have the shift left movement, but you also have the shift right. So based on that, we want to look into uh, the production monitoring testing that are help, uh, available in, uh, inside. Uh, your, your pipeline in production, not just throughout testing, but also in production. So these are the main themes and roadmaps that we are driving. And um, these are some of the highlights that we are running. I will not go into each one of the items because uh, there are too many items in here, but I will just emphasize, for example, uh, if you look at the blue ones on the U, like we have the unified experience, we also already have um, UX improvement and we are unifying the user experience. We are integrating screener from a standalone visual testing solution into, uh, into SaaS Lab. So that's the screener IO integration into the platform. Again, the same capabilities, the same user management, reporting, navigation, all within one UI. 
And if we look, for example, in mobile, we have released uh, virtual USB. Virtual USB is your ability to connect a mobile device from the cloud directly to your uh, environment. If you are a tester or if you are a developer and you want to use Android Studio or Xcode, you have the ability to connect iOS and Android directly to your environment. And basically your machine believes that this is a local device. It has no idea that this device is coming from the cloud. We have invested a lot in that in terms of performance. And, and basically you have access to hundreds and thousands configurations of different devices directly for development and, and debugging from your uh, local environment. So these are just highlights, a few highlights that I mentioned. Uh, as I, um, we can discuss each one of those in depth, but just to give you a, a highlight that we are focusing a lot in the platform, a lot of roadmap, a lot of enhancement is, is happening and, and basically provide you with the best of base, uh, better services and much more enhanced and robust uh, throughout our delivery pipeline quarter by quarter. And, and um, I have around about two to three minutes. So this is where I'm talking a little bit about Horizon 2 and Horizon 3. That's next year and beyond. And again, we have uh, the main personas, which are the developer, um, the QA as that. We are also looking into security um, officers and operations. And that's where we are taking the platform more into a task and risk platform basically provide you with the capabilities, a lot of insights, a lot of machine learning, AI, and doing analysis over the data that we have throughout your execution and provide you with risk-based system that will help you take the right decisions as you are uh, releasing them. And more into the horizon, that's autonomous risk management. We have the platform, we have the capabilities, we will have the tools that will help you to take decisions based on data that is coming and take a lot of the burden that you need to do the analysis. Um, we are uh, massively growing our environment. If we started in test automation for browsers and mobile devices, we are looking into IoT, into video, into gaming, into uh, virtual reality and artificial uh, intelligence and augmented reality. All these capabilities, we are massively growing our environment in coverage. And we are looking into digital confidence monitoring. That's machine learning and AI uh, synthetics based on the business metrics. Again, a lot of analytics, a lot of capabilities that will help you get better reporting uh, and better data based on the testing that you are executing. And looking into the business and continuous testing and monitoring, intelligence assistant testing, again, utilizing machine learning and AI, a lot of data, a lot of executions, a lot of jobs are running based on data that we are collecting and doing analysis, allowing you to take better business decision and helping you have a much better int and intelligent delivery management. Okay, so this is in very, very high level, but what I wanted to emphasize is that uh, we are looking short term within this year and also uh, emphasizing a lot and building our vision and strategy towards Horizon 2 and Horizon 3 and, and uh, the idea is that you see SOS as a partner from product side for the next few years with as your uh, product is, is growing, our solutions are growing to uh, facilitate the requirement.